Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube tutorial. Well, Roblox tutorial actually. Anyways, enough of that. Um, in this video, I will be showing you how to script a teleport pad. So, like, where you press a part and it will teleport you to another part. So, for, let, let's make a part. Okay, so let's call this teleport pad. Okay, so this is the this is the part that the player will touch in order to get teleported to somewhere. Let's resize it. Let's make this one. Okay, so let's make it blue. And then let's make another part where it will teleport to. I'm gonna call it teleport location. No, I'm gonna call it other side. So call your part whatever you want. Let's make this one red ish. Let's put it all the way over here. Okay, so what you want so now that you have two parts, this is the one we will be scripting, and this is the one where the player will be teleported to. So like what we want to do is when the player touches this part it'll get teleported over here all right so now you want to insert a script into this part so just go on here teleport pad right click it insert object well actually roblox has a new feature so you don't have to really right click so so you find teleport pad click the plus button then you want to find a script and put a script in it so script so now you have a script in here so make sure you have a script in teleport pad And then let me make this bigger. Local. You're gonna want to make a variable. Local pad equals script dot parent. So this variable stands for this part. Then local teleport to equals workspace dot other side. That that's what for this you're gonna do workspace dot and then the name of the part you put for the red one. So I named the other side, but for this one you put whatever you named it. So workspace the other side. And then we're gonna want to make um, we're gonna want to make a function. So a touched function. So it runs when the player when something touches it. So pad dot touched connect function. Also, I will put the script in the description below. If you want to copy and paste it and take a look at it instead of having to write it all out, um, you could go ahead and do that. So then function hit for whatever hit it. Then we, we want to check if whatever hit it is a player because we don't want like like random parts teleporting to that to the other part. So if no local humanoid, every player has a humanoid inside their character. So that's how we're going to check if it's a player. Um, hit actually yeah hit dot parent go and find first find first child humanoid so then if the humanoid exists so like what if whatever touched it has a humanoid then we're gonna want to teleport it so we're gonna want to find the humanoid root part. So local, we're gonna want to check if it has a humanoid root part. So that's what we're gonna do. So local um, humanoid root equals hit dot parent colon find first child humanoid root part. I think that's what it's called, but if it's not, I'll need to check when we test it. So if humanoid root part, root then, humanoid root dot C frame equals teleport to dot C frame. So what this will do is change its position from here to here. So this will teleport the player to the other side. 
to the other part. So now let's test it. Let's test. Start server. All right, let's test it. Let's see what happens. Nothing happened. Let's see what's going on. So let's check the server side. Let me check real quick. Oh shoot, I misspelled it first. Find first child. I put find first child. It's not right, right here. First, there we go. Now I spelt it right. Let's see if it works. All right, let's try it. And it worked, it teleported me to the other pad. Okay, let's touch it again. Yes, it works. And that, guys, is how you make a teleport pad. Now, if you want to make other teleport pads, you could just duplicate these two, move them somewhere. Let's change the colors. Let's make this green. You can still have them be the same color. Now, you can't have two other sides, so you have to name this one different. Other side number two. So let's name the brown one other side number two. Then you have to go into the green one, go in the script, change other side, this one right here, and put a two. So now it looks for this one and teleports you to this one. Let's test it now. All right, so the blue one should teleport me to the red one. And then if we go to the green one, it should teleport me to the brown one. And oh, yeah, we need to fix that real quick. Yeah, I forgot to anchor them. Make sure they're anchored. Make sure you click check the anchor mark. So that way they don't move around like when you hit it. So that guys, that's how you make a teleport teleport pads. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, well, if it helped you too, um, leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. I will do other tutorials, Roblox tutorials. Suggest, um, um, suggest video suggestions in the comments below. And yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.